सर वी कैन स्टार्ट नाउ ले लो यस यस yes yeah we were dealing yesterday the definition under section 4 that is of a may presume shall presume and conclusive proof isn't it then uh, illustrations with regard to may presume which are natural presumptions are incorporated or enumerated in section 114 um, of the um, evidence act um, isn't it um, 114 of the act uh we first took the illustration 1 and 2 uh, or gave you the example where the court may presumes uh, the court may presume the existence of certain things uh, which it think likely to have happened regard being had to the common common course of natural events the human conduct public and private business in relation to the facts in particular cases now the illustration and uh, see the each illustration and unke liye bhi explanation is given the first illustration that a man who is in possession of a stolen good soon after the theft is either thief or has received goods known to be stolen unless he has counted for his possession now for this and uh, the evidence act itself is giving uh, as to illustration a see after i a shopkeeper has in his in his in his a shopkeeper has in his still a mark rupees soon after it was stolen and cannot account for the possession of specific cannot account for its possession specifically but it but uh, is uh, continually receiving rupees in the course of his business <laughs> that mean counterfeit coins are too many in the in the possession of the shopkeeper so he is supposed to be a dealer in counterfeit coins so the prosecution the police officer as well as the court will presume that uh, he is in possession of the stolen goods he is unable to account for he has been uh, uh, receiving the stolen uh, stolen counterfeit coins i mean number 1 number 2 we dealt with that, that an accomplice is unworthy of or unworthy of credit unless he is corroborated in material particular so i have sent you two judgments of the supreme court both on the first point one of the, from amada bhai court dealing another also i sent it judgment those of you can read aram se of course for examination point of view for this purpose nobody will ask you but those of you want to study is a very good judgment uh, which i shared with you now for the purpose of accomplice ke liye as to illustration b i gave you various illustration but let us see what does the evidence act illustration say as to b hmm, come that year again after i ke baad hmm, a crime is committed by several person a b and c three of the criminals are captured on this spot and kept apart from each other all of them are been captured arrested and kept apart from each other separately rakhe gaye each gives an account of the crime implicating d to so, yahan pe a b c three of them are they involved these three persons are implicating a fourth gentleman mr d and the accounts corroborate each other in such a manner as to render previous concrete previous concert highly improbable so yahan pe because you know that under the provisions of section 30 of the evidence act i told you that it is only when a joint trial takes place of all this person a confession made by one person implicating himself on all others that will be binding number 1 that is one example under section 30 if a joint trial is not held normally a joint trial is held when everybody is uh, tried together but cases where the prosecution is unable to secure the evidence 
and what do they normally do they give a pardon to one one of the accused person like under the provisions of 306 a pardon is given with a view to enable the gentleman to act as the witness of the prosecution and he will not be convicted if he gives a proper account of the evidence and fact like i gave you the mukherjee's case sheena murder case and um, example here so the conditions are recorded under section 306 307 308 crpc that gentleman in cases of several persons who are implicated whether he being an accomplice himself his evidence the law says that 114 can only be accepted provided there is a corroboration because he himself being a being an accomplice an offender of the crime a joint offender uh, he should not be totally trusted <laughs> he must be trusted with a pinch of salt but um, 130 133 of the evidence act i gave you example the court has absolute discretion the trial court to accept the evidence of uh, the accomplice if it is even without corroboration uh, if in material particular his evidence is acceptable you do not require corroboration so the, the general law is a discretion of the of the so you cannot say that uh, these two provisions are conflicting eh? because there is no conflict here because it is in fact the power given to the court the court will weigh the evidence whether i should accept the evidence of this accomplice without being corroborated by the another witness somebody reliable witness some pancha some independent witness then the evidentiary value becomes much more better in that case but in some cases where the um, under 133 cases uh, the uh, the accomplice evidence must be totally reliable he must be a person of a sound standing in society a person having firm roots respectable man who is considered as you know the court will uh, see to his uh, uh, antecedents what kind of a man background is there ye sab karne ke baad the court is not bound to tell him that the prosecution you corroborate the evidence you bring other evidence if his evidence is reliable if he says that yes a and b and me three all three of us has committed the crime of decoity committed the crime of uh, um, the murder committed the any cognizable offenses which are seriously cognizable are triable by the court of session or uh, the special court the, the court may believe it court will believe with evidence and you don't require corroboration under 133 please note that yeah that is the difference between 133 of the evidence act and uh, section 114 clause b of the evidence act now as regard illustration number c that a bill of exchange now the court will presume the court will presume that the bill of exchange accepted or endorsed or accepted endorsed uh, except so for a good consideration so these are uh, negotiable instrument matters in a commercial transaction the first two illustrations were related to directly on uh, criminal law the indian offenses under the indian penal code or any other offenses under the criminal law amendment act now the third one is directly on the on the civil cases relating to commercial properties the commercial transaction or uh, transactions uh, where they normally you file summary suit or regular suit for obtaining in such matters even uh, you may resort to proceeding under 138 of the negotiable instrument act uh, where uh, the check has been dishonored now in such cases this uh, example will be helpful to you now you know that here apart from the indian evidence act i told you which is not uh, totally inclusive it is not even exhaustive uh, Ex evidence act accepts evidence from various other acts that is for example i told you under the cpc and crpc there is a provision for evidence now similarly under the provisions of negotiable instrument act there is a separate chapter section 118 kholiye uh, rules of evidence are given here uh, this will be explained to you with the help of 118 uh, the kholiye या निगोशियबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एक्ट हो लीजिए कुमार दरा 
खोलेंगे आप दिस कंटेन सर्टन रूल्स ऑफ प्रिजम्शन प्लीज नोट दैट देर आर थ्री फोर सेक्शन देर आर फाइव सिक्स सेक्शन दिस विल बी द प्रिजम्शन एज टू निगोशियबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट See that yeah, the topic starts with the chapter thirteen. के अंदर special rules of evidence. Huh? Got it? See until the contrary is yes, proved, the following presumption shall be made. This will be helpful to you to understand illustration C. Number one, consideration that every negotiable instrument was made or drawn for consideration, and every such instrument when that upon. Um, agreed endorse negotiated transfer was accepted endorse negotiated a transfer for consideration so uh, normally when you deal with the banking transaction when you do check transaction bill of exchange undi which is come into possession that you might check comes to you it is not come like that only it is come for some consideration to discharge some liability so the law presumes that some the then item number c this is 118 ke andar diya gaya various example then um, g ke andar the holder in due course that a holder of a negotiable instrument is a holder in due course so if i am holding a your check <laughs> a check which has been given to me i put in my bank so the law presumes that uh, i am the lawful owner of that particular check and uh, it has not been uh, i not played any fraud upon you unless you rebut the evidence placing on record that uh, i have stolen the check or your employee or an agent who is working with you or a partner the law presumes that it is validly given so that now 119 20 21 22 deal with the rule of presumption and estoppel hmm? estoppel mean once having been given a check having made a representation to others and if upon your representation other person has acted upon given you gave me a check i put it then uh, after putting it uh, i withdrawn the money then you try to retract that here no the check has been wrongfully given but if i place on record that the bills have been raised to you um, on account of my professional fees or the money supplied good that will be proved unless the other person dislodges the uh, presumption that um, it was not given for any consideration that is the one section Then 139 में आ जाइए आप the presumption in favour of a holder it shall be presumed and it shall be presumed unless the contrary is proved that a holder of a check received the check the nature referred to in 138 for discharge of whole part of the debt or other liability under 138 is the situation deals with the, you know that here no check bouncing cases ke cases isi mein aate hain huh? under the negotiable instrument act huh? where a check has been dishonored if i gave you my check for receiving certain um, article or you gave me a check after receiving my legal advice or i delivered to you some goods uh, which is considered as a liability discharging a enforceable liability um, the holding of a check itself law presume that there must be some transaction unless you rebut the transaction uh, you have a right to rebut it agar in case a check is dishonored then i can be prosecuted under the provisions of 138 of the negotiable instrument act then usi ke andar dekhiye special rules um, uh, under 143 you have uh, the court has power to call summarily try that is not important then evidence is recorded under 145 by affidavit so normally under the crpc there is no specific provision in all cases evidence can be taken by uh, affidavit Huh? Oh, some cases the court may special circumstances where their officers are involved they do that but here specific provision section 145 and 146 check karenge aap banker slip prima facie evidence of certain fact so there is a bankers evidence act apart from the indian evidence act negotiable instrument act a bankers evidence act 1891 hai now when you when you want to prove that the check your check has been deposited in a particular account and the bank manager will give a certificate yes yeah, this is to place on record and inform that uh, mr xyz has been our customer and uh, the check number so and so has been uh, um, deposited in his account or is gave it under the bankers evidence act that is a, then you also have a 
Commercial Document Evidence Act of 18, 1939, where ships, marine ship transaction, arbitration, you can remember that there is a Bankers Evidence Act, there is a Commercial Document, Commercial Document Evidence Act, uh, this is a uh, for commercial transaction apart from negotiable instrument act. So the illustration which is given from this, it may be clear to you. Then the illustration in the evidence act is uh, as to that is a uh, illustration C ke baare mein. Dekhi aap as to illustration C. A the drawer of a bill of exchange was a man of business. B, the acceptor was a young and ignorant person completely under A's influence. Under A's influence. So, uska matlab ye hua ke that the bill of exchange is accepted and endorsed, was accepted and endorsed for a good consideration. Unless that man takes up the plea that I was a, I, I'm a, I'm a person unable to understand the consequences or it has not been given to me or has been fraudulently given to me under misrepresentation um, surreptitiously or giving without giving the you, you take the onus. Otherwise, the court presumes that the the bill of exchange has been endorsed for a good consideration. Something that is the meaning of it. Hopefully it is understood. Anybody has any doubt, you can ask me. Then uh, next is uh, um, item number D, 100 and D, 114D, that a thing or a state of thing which has been shown to be in existence within a period shorter than that within such period or thing usually cease to exit is still in existence. Now this is a, a common uh, occurrences uh, which take place. The best example under this is section 107, 108, 109. How that is the death of a person who is unable to um, trace it out in particular years. Ye isko samajne ke liye aap, huh? That is a um, that a thing or a state of thing which has been shown to be in existence. When somebody was alive for a period of 30 years, somebody has not been seen for more than seven years. Then what happened? The court draws presumption. Say exo sat collegium. Um, 107 C burden of proving death of a person known to have been alive within 30 years. When a question is whether a man is alive or dead and is shown that he was alive within 30 years, the burden of proving that he is dead is on the person who affirms it. So a suit may be filed for a declaration that uh, A is the adopted son of Mr. Deceased so and so. He was alive so and so period. The defendant will take up the plea he was dead. He was not there, then the burden will shift upon him. Normally, the court will draw the presumption here. If within 30 years he was alive, the court may say that here, that is, the, he will apply the, the presumption under 114, 114D will be applied uh, that something was in existence, isn't it? Then um, 108 check is clear. Burden of proving that a person is alive who has not been heard of several years. Huh? When a question is whether a man is alive or dead and is proved he has not been heard for seven years by those who would naturally have heard of him, he had been alive. The burden of proving that he is alive shifts upon the person who affirms it. Now, you may take up the suit may have been filed between A and B. Uh, B will, um, A has filed a suit for recovery of money, uh, maybe recovery of a property, terminating the um, contract. Mm, B has not performed the contract for A reason, B reason. The allegation which will be taken up, the, the contention which may be taken up, that uh, the suit has been filed against a dead person. Yeah? Because he has not been heard for seven years, he is alive. When a suit is filed against a dead person, is a nullity. <laughs> Sanjana, it is of no legal consequences. But you may take up the plea that year he had gone to um, some yatra in himalayas and some temple came there and thereafter he never returned back kailash mein ab tapasya karne gaye the he never returned the family people will say that my father or my uncle my mother went to pilgrimage and pilgrimage never returned 
So that is the best evidence of the family people who are known. So within seven years, so the landlord might give a notice here uh, for demanding no rent and notice which has not been acknowledged. So they will say that notice is not received because he's a debt, it has been given to a dead person. So the, the, then the burden will be upon the landlord to prove that no, he was alive within seven years. So the court will weigh the evidence whether to believe the family people's evidence or of the landlord who who purported to have given termination notice under 106 of the DP Act. Sanjana, pe, pe, isme ye evidence can be utilized in the matter. That is uh, 100 and, uh, 100 and, uh, for the purpose of a uh, clause D, 107, 108, as well as uh, burden of proving relationship, 114 uh, section 109 college. Aap. Burden of proof as to relationship in cases of partnership, partners, landlord, tenant, principal, and agent. When the question is whether a person or partners, landlords, or tenants, principal, agent, and it has been shown that they have become acting as if the burden of proving that they do not stand, has ceased to stand on, on each such person relationship, especially so and so. So the one, 109. 109 will help you in determining number one. Or number one, Yabe, this speaks of uh, partners. Under the Indian Partnership Act, you know that here, uh, one partner is uh, dead, the other partner is liable to pay the discharge the liabilities. So it doesn't extinguish liability in the matter. You know that here. So the plaintiff may take up the plea that here, upon the death or uh, term the um, the exclusion of the uh, partner A, partner B is liable to pay. He said that he retired from the partnership bank. So the onus is upon them to prove with regard to C. The court may presume that uh, he's, he, he, he's a, uh, he is a partner and record. Court will presume presumption unless the defendant dislodges, he retired. Retirement deed has to be proved, then you can dislodge it. Here. Then the second relationship, landlord and tenant. The landlord and tenant, I gave you an example. The landlord will file a suit on the ground that a tenant has sublet the premises without the consent and permission of the landlord. The tenant will say, no such a consent was given to me. <laughs> the court may, court may, may presume that here such permission, unless the tenant proves that here such permission was not given. So presumption. Then secondly, then the relationship of a principal and agent. Under the Indian Contract Act, you know that yeah, you have learned the chapter relating to uh, agency, which is uh, dealing from a section 182, say so like a 238 last chapter. So when a when you file a suit, when a file a suit, um, when uh, some stranger has filed a suit uh, against the principal, placing on record that uh, they have paid the money to the agent of the principal. Huh? So the agent is responsible or he is bound and liable under the Indian Contract Act. All of you know that the law of agency of the contract 182 to like a 238 Kandar. All of you know that unless the unless unless the agency is specifically terminated. So I mean you will file a suit against me on the ground that I am liable to pay the amount for the my agents act. Then I will take up the plea. I have terminated the agency long time ago. I gave it. I gave a advertisement in newspaper in the Times of India placing on record, I have terminated the agency of Mr. XYZ who was my agent and anybody dealing with him will be doing so at his own risk and consequences. So the, the, the I am proving the burden. If I don't prove it, I come under the 119 with regard to proving 114D. Hmm? 114D, now let us see what illustration the, the Indian Evidence Act is giving it to you. D ga check um, As to D, as to illustration D, it is proved that a river ran in a certain course for five years. So it is also a course of, you know, D is also, it's something in existence. It is also relation. Uh, yeah. uh, D, D kata hai pe, it proved the river ran in certain the course of five years, but it is known that there have been floods in the time which might change the course. So Ganges is uh, flowing from Haridwar and uh, it goes from A to B to place. But on account of some floods in uh, in, uh, in Allahabad, 
see the the entire crops were havoc as a result whereof the people suffered substantial losses so a suit may be filed against you um, to return certain monies for the crop with the farmers may have taken they will take up the plea on account of natural calamity we are unable to pay the ganges ran from here and we could not pay so on account of natural calamity you cannot pay and the amounts you, you cannot be able to pay there may be a contract that you will pay the money after the crops are um, you know um, um, the the crop season is over the cultivation take place then you will take up the plea that uh, such a contract is a frustration of a contract as a result of the havoc which has been caused by the river which has flown from a direction they have a take place so they can also be a presumption that everest has been in existence for times immemorial isn't it so there may be a custom which may be in existence for a long period how you prove it before the court of law isn't it so and so family can the so and so custom is prevailing so you examine the existence of a custom is also proved under the provision existence something it has been in existence for a long period for a short period that is the illustration okay d ho gaya now e pe aa jaiye that judicial and official acts have been regularly performed ha uh, it is a very interesting uh, clause one one minute give me uh, i just wait wait yeah that judicial and uh, that judicial act oh, yeah item number 3 uh sorry yes that judicial official acts have been regularly performed so nobody will deny this that the supreme court of india has directed has delegated the power uh, to prepare the minutes of the order to the associates huh. isn't it that it will presume that here that the minutes prepared by the associate are correct so you know that when you see open the supreme court's order it is always signed by associates court master <laughs> judges themselves don't sign it the names of the, the judge name is mentioned on the top of the order um, and the below last below it is signed by the court master similarly in the high court the gentleman called sheriff sridhar so this is a, a based on a this is based on a proposition that uh, the the i'll tell you say 114d is uh, based on uh, one of the legal presumption yeah one minute yeah yes so anand uh, sorry the the that the judicial acts have been regularly performed is applies to only judicial act that a court receiver who has been appointed by the court by the bombay high court delhi high court is a custodial agent who has discharged his duties the court may presume his duties are correct the bailiff of the court sheriff of mumbai or sheriff of delhi or whichever court or registrar or sheriff has delivered the summons to the person court may presume it is correct so normal presumption is presumed that if the official acts have been discharged correctly but the other side has a right to rebut it there is a rebuttal that the judicial magistrate first class has recorded the confession correctly involuntarily presumption arises you know 164 of the crpc confession cannot be made to a police officer a police officer cannot record confession confession must be recorded and must be signed before a judicial magistrate not even before a executive magistrate it must be a judicial magistrate first class second class in bombay city and bombay calcutta madras and delhi cities may metropolitan magistrate so when they prepare a report normally because judicial officers are ex they are exercising judicial function so they will tell the accused person don't make this confession if it may you make it you will that will go against you i am warning you not to make it then he will record it even if he did it must, he should record it it's a voluntary confession a confession the recorded of the of the victim who has been raped of a child witnesses who have been under the posco act various padhe hain aapne isn't it under section 164 anybody wants to make a confession they can make it so the learned magistrate 
prepares a memorandum under section 80, the court normally presumes that this is correctly done. Unless the accused person takes up the plea in the court, I have retracted the confession. <laughs> oh, normally, when many people apply for bail, they have been advised. Okay, I retract the confession. Oh, it is not voluntarily I was coerced. Then it's a matter of evidence to be proved. So at that at that stage, if need be, the magistrate will be summoned as a witness to give evidence. Normally, his presence is dispensed with. Uh, being a judicial officer, he need not be called. But if his evidence is questioned by the accused person, he has a right to ask him to come into the box. The court will issue witness summons to substantiate it. Huh? Otherwise, so this clause applies to judicial proceeding. Please note that here. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, next. Uh, F me aja hai. Acha, yahan pe kya hai? Dekhi, as to. Uh, yeah, yahan pe ham log illustration me check lenge. Uh, yeah, yeah, as to e na. That a judicial act, as to illustration, that a judicial act, the regularity of which is in question was performed under exceptional circumstances. <laughs> like the Supreme Court of India has held hearing in some of the matters recently at 3 p.m. in the night. <laughs> so the order has been validly recorded. Isn't it? The entries made by the judges and the Rose Nama went in, is a court presumes they are correctly maintained. Plaintiff and defendant will make a statement. No, the judge has not correctly recorded my statement. Prima facie, the, the courts will not believe it to you. Unless you bring a substantial evidence, corroborative evidence, <laughs> then only challenge it. Normally, presumption, if it, is not, if it is not challenged by you, by the plaintiff or defendant, and whatever the judge recording evidence, no, no, under the Evidence Act, the judge has been given very vast power to call for documents, to ask any question, Issue witness summons to anybody. Very vast powers, which I described to you under section 165 of the Evidence Act. Very vast power. Even the government, central government, state government can be directed to divulge before the judge in a scene envelope uh, the um, matters relating to affairs of the state, which may be a privileged communication. The judge has a right to see it. Any document under the order, you check the order 16 of the Code of Civil Procedure, then order section 61, say Laker 90 of the CRPC, section 87, judges issue warrant, judges issue summons. So the court presumes that that has been issued in the regular course of official discharging judicial duties. Uh, presumption is uh, Next, pe aja hai. Uh, F pe aja hai. That the common course of business has been followed in particular case. Now, what is a common course? Please see to understand section 16. Check karo aap. Common course will apply to both uh, private and public acts. Whereas uh, section 16 one uh, uh, DE will apply to only uh, judicial act. Section 16 college, yeah? one six of the evidence act. Existence of a course of business, 1616. As to illustration 114F, existence of a course of business when relevant. When there is a question, when there is a question whether a particular act was done, the existence of any course of business according to which it naturally would have been done is relevant. So while dealing with, uh, I told you, Evidence Act is concerned with uh, uh, facts in issue and relevant fact. This is one of the relevant fact. You will be permitted to lead evidence on this. Now let us see the illustration to section 16. The question is whether a particular letter was dispatched. Government law college ke under, aapka letter box hai, red box. So student who is staying out station puts a letter there. The fact that it was ordinary course of business for all letters put in certain place 
to be carried to the post and a particular letter was put in the place are relevant so government law college ke jo letter box mein red box se letter leke it goes to gpo at vt so the court draws presumption yes it must have been done <laughs> unless it is rebutted by the other side so you may take up the plea letter was sent or letter by it may be a ordinary letter or it may be a uh, register letter of course you have to go directly and give it here to yahan pe then the next question the question is whether a particular letter reach a the fact that it was posted in due course and was not written through the dead the, through the dead letter office are relevant so you have sent a registered post letter from the post office and you are possessing the postal receipt and the letter has not written back the court may draw a presumption that the letter is validly gone now this is the presumption the court draws this also of the check early section 27 of the general clauses act ye presumption nikalta hai general clauses act bolo zara beta section 27 of the general clauses act uh, 1897 mere paas 546 mein hai yeah Yeah, can you see section twenty seven? Nikale, nikale na? Kumar, nikale. Section twenty seven. Yeah, meaning of service by post. Where any central act or regulation made after the commencement of this act authorizes or requires any document to be served by post, whether the expression serve. or either of the expression give or send or any other expression is used when unless a different intention appears the service shall be deemed to be effected by properly addressing prepaying and posting any registered post a letter containing the document and unless the contrary is proved to have been effected at the time at which the letter would have been delivered in the ordinary course of post so the court draws inference a presumption ke letter has been duly dispatched ha yeah, please note that a particular issue he comes in the courts a lot of time because many statutes require a mandatory notice to be given like under the section 106 of the transfer of property act easement act termination of uh, notice then uh, many of the service um, employment uh, condition giving of a notice is mandatory under the specific relief act section 20 check karenge aap uh, when uh, section 20 new, newly added section ke andar um, when specific performance is not possible by a and b you can engage a third party to perform the <laughs> obligation under the contract after giving one month's notice uh, section 20 sub clause uh, of the first proviso to section 20 of the specific relief in that event the party engaging the third party need not he will not get specific performance not required because he is getting it work done through his own agent and he can only claim damages section 20 hona to khol lijiye mai bata deta hu a very mandatory notice is required to be given uh, section 20 of the specific relief act hai kisi ke paas hai so is may mandatorily notice is required to be given please note that here so if the notice is not given that section 20 compliance is not there and your suit may fail <laughs> your suit will fail 
बाकी देख लीजिए प्रोवाइजो के अंदर वन मंथ नोटिस टू बी गिवन सब्सिट्यूशन ऑफ योर ओन एजेंट आई डोंट हैव ए कॉपी विद मी इफ एनीबडी कैन वॉन्ट टू रीड इट रीड इट देन अदरवाइज वी कैन मूव ऑन नो प्रॉब्लम बट बेर इन माइंड नो सब्सिट्यूशन या वन मन नोटिस तो दिया गया ना उसके अंदर इट्स मैंडेटरी हाउ डू यू प्रूव इट similarly under the companies act if you want to go for winding up of a company you have to give 21 days notice to the other side and the registered ad agar wo nahi denge to aapki notice then you have to prove it notice is given there are many legislations and every almost many legislations contain a statutory notice so usme dispute aayega ke service hui hai nahi hui hai isn't it ye uske liye presumption you are required to rely upon section 27 section 16 of the evidence act 114 clause f of the evidence act which deals with presumption and let us see what does the evidence act is in the fm as to illustration f the question is whether a letter was received is shown to have been posted but usual course of post was interrupted by disturbance so the defendant may take up the plea that here the letter did not reach me because in the, in mumbai at that time there were tsunami <laughs> tsunami me post office it destroyed <laughs> the water was flooded the question of dispatching notice and receiving doesn't arise so that can be taken that plea can be taken yes uh uske baad then f ho gaya then g pe aa jaiye that evidence which could be that which could be and is not produced if produced would be unfavorable to a person who is withhold mean the plaintiff or defendant is deliberately withholding evidence documentary evidence and not examining essential witnesses before the court of law so when you do this when you don't examine the essential witnesses before the court of law इन क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन बोलेंगे आप पूछेंगे क्वेश्चन डिफेंडेंट को पूछेंगे दे मे बी ट्रांजेक्शन बिटवीन बोथ ऑफ यू बोलेंगे ब्लैक मनी भी दिया था पैसा भी दिया था कैश भी दिया था बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट मेंटेन करता हूँ वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर यू इनकम टैक्स एस एस येस यू कैन यू प्रोड्यूस दी असेसमेंट रिकॉर्ड ऑफ रेलिवेंट इयर वो प्रोड्यूस ही नहीं करेगा नहीं पड़ेगा ई इज नॉट प्रोड्यूसिंग डेलिबरेटली बिकॉज दैट विल गो अगेंस्ट इम सो यू कैन ड्रॉ एडवर्स इन्फोरेंसेस so this particular 114g is for the purpose of drawing adverse in prosecution has not examine a material witness who is a eye witness to the scene of offence cross examine he has not examine a dna expert to determine the age of the victim what is the age that is mandatory to so, aapko ossification test karna padega wo nahi kiye hain the court will draw adverse inference they are not produce the best evidence so i hereby draw adverse inference against them under 114g of the evidence act plaintiff or defendant sometime so when a question is asked to you to answer you are not answering do you know the answer <laughs> see uh, under the scheme of the evidence act you cannot take up the plea i will refuse to answer so under the constitution of india article 20 mein pad chuke hain aap and i queue you have a right to of silence isn't it miranda rights aapko available nahi miranda versus arozaina hum pad chuke hain crpc mein andar i told you uh, right to remain silent under the constitution of india article 20 when a prosecution when a police officer ask you to answer a question such a situation arose in india in nandini satpates case when indira gandhi was hounding uh, against her in certain respects whatever reason may be political vendetta then she clearly said here i will not answer this question the prosecution went to the court the court said supreme court yes under article 26 clause 1 and 2 the she has a right to refuse the question but whereas under the evidence act when you come that is only the rights of a the right of the accused person <laughs> in a criminal prosecution section 20 article 20 but whereas uh, the evidence act say that witness cannot excuse that section 
आपको मैं बताता हूं सेक्शन 132 थर्टी खोल लीजिए विटनेस नॉट एक्सक्यूज फ्रॉम एंसरिंग ऑन द ग्राउंड दैट द आंसर विल क्रिमिनेट सो दिस इज डायरेक्टली इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट टू आर्टिकल 20 to understand this section uh, please uh, first uh, uh, open your article 20 of the constitution kumar zara ek minute mai zara constitution nikal leta hu आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी एंड सेक्शन वन थर्टी टू आर इंटरेस्टिंग दे टेक ए टू डिफरेंट ऑपोजिट पोस्टर्स तो पहले स्कीम समझने के लिए पहले आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी खोल लीजिए आप ऑफ कोर्स यू नो आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी बट यू शुड नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस इन द लाइट ऑफ दिस सेक्शन सी प्रोटेक्शन इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ कन्विक्शन फॉर ऑफेंसेस subclause 3 no person accused of any offence shall be compelled to be a witness against himself so you cannot compel a man to give evidence you cannot tell a man to be incriminated ha uh, you can you are not bound to accept i have committed the crime you can refuse the police officer isliye kehte hain Uh, under the scheme of the evidence act a police officer uh, cannot compel you to give confession that section is a uh, section 24 check karenge of the evidence act i will take you through uh, yes confession uh, section 25 confession to police officer not to be proved so this is more or less in conformity with article 20 sub clause 3 see no confession made to a police officer shall be proved as again the person accused of any so he has got a, a person a witness is totally insulated <laughs> whereas now abhi open kijiye section 132 now you are coming as a witness in the court hmm? the position of a witness is totally different from the position of an accused accused has fundamental rights under article 21 article 22 and protection under article article 20 now yahan pe check kar lijiye 132 of the evidence act a witness shall not be excused from answering any question as to any matter relevant to the matter in issue in any civil or in any in any suit or in any civil or criminal proceeding underline the word both uh, it applies to both the proceeding upon the ground that the answer to such question will criminate or may tend directly indirectly criminate such witness or that it will expose or tend directly indirectly to expose such witness to a penalty forfeiture of any kind so he cannot take up the plea i will not depose because i am likely to be <laughs> prosecuted huh? i may I, i i may face some forfeiture under the provisions of any act in a civil act or a criminal act i will not he cannot take up the plea now what does it do the proviso provided that no such answer which a witness shall be compelled to give shall subject him to any arrest so though he is refusing to give answer if the answers are proved to be a sheer bunch of lies uh, which is a, a, which is a perjury perjury is punishable for 7 years normally it's a cognizable offence under section uh, 192 under section 41 of the crpc a police officer can arrest a person without a warrant uh, all of you read the crpc but for giving witness as a witness he is giving witness he is insulated from arrest see that here uh shall be subjected to arrest or prosecution or be proved against him in any criminal proceeding except the prosecution for giving false evidence he can only be prosecuted now in what manner he can be prosecuted wo crpc mein sikhe hain aap you cannot directly file a complaint to magistrate under 190 but here you have to follow the proceeding under 340 crpc 
that is offenses affecting the administration of justice where the inquiry will be held maybe by the civil court or criminal court or revenue court wherever whichever court has recorded evidence number 1 and such a complaint will be filed by the court that is a bar under that is a section 195 crpc tells you aap padhe aapne who is competent to file a complaint it is the court of law where the perjury has taken place that will become the complainant that will forward the complaint in the city of bombay the gentleman gave evidence before the honorable high court bombay or the city civil court or small causes court so what they will do that these and the high court the prothonotary senior master um, will uh, hold the inquiry pursuant to the order of the high court judge ki before me the gentleman has deposed falsely he has given wrong evidence but uh, in the he cannot take he has taken up the plea i will not depose the court said no i your objection overruled you cannot take up the plea under article 20 because you are not accused here you are a witness here you are in come in the capacity of witness so the mandate of uh, article 20 will not applicable here under 132 you cannot refuse you please answer straight away and if the answer is uh, wrong or patently erroneous or patently false the judge cannot arrest him but he will ask him to proceed then the next step the court may sue moto or may upon the application of the other side that procedure is contemplated uh, you may see section 340 cr ki चेक कर लो सेक्शन 340 फोर्टी को लीजिए दैट यू शुड नो दिस बिकॉज ये भूलने का नहीं दैट इज हाउ दी एविडेंस एक्ट इज कनेक्टेड टू दिविल एंड सी आर पी सी सेक्शन थ्री फोर्टी खोल लीजिए प्रोविजन एज टू ऑफेंसेस अफेक्टिंग द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ जस्टिस थ्री फोर्टी प्रोसीजर इन केसेस मैंशन इन वन नाइनटी फाइव आई विल टेल यू दू वन नाइनटी फाइव when upon an application made to it on behalf otherwise the court is of the opinion that expedient in the interest of justice an inquiry should be made into any of the offence referred to clause b of 195 which appears to have been committed in relation to proceedings that the court as the case may be in a document produced giving giving the evidence in proceeding that the court may preliminary hold a inquiry x y z c inquiry so that is the procedure inquiry by the whole then 195 tells you crpc ka the complaint should be filed by the court where the evidence was recorded and not by the gentleman any any private parties so uska provision check kar lijiye prosecution for contempt of lawful authority or public servant or offenses against public justice or offenses relating to document given in evidence so 195 crpc connect karo directly aap come to the exception which say that except the complaint in writing of a court in which the officer of the court may authorize in writing to give so yahan pe padhenge to aapko you come to know that that is the procedure here so under the scheme of the evidence act the the analogy is different from the constitution of india so the witness has to answer the question yes next anybody has any doubt you please ask me yes next uh, yeah we were drawing the adverse inference isn't it 14 ke andar yes 114 g wo deal karte the na hum log yes yeah so how the adverse inferences are drawn you know that yeah when you not examine a witness who is a material witness adverse inference when you are not produce a document which is important If the court has a right to ask you to produce document under the provisions of section 165 of the evidence act the judge has full power to question you and pardon you under order 16 cpc the other side can take out a witness summons upon you upon your witness to produce the document so there are procedures and uh, both the ways both in the evidence act as well as under the provisions of the cpc and crpc for protection of document if not produced the court will draw adverse inferences i will mention now next item dekh lijiye aap g ke baad hai h uh, h ho gaya sorry uh, h i that a document creating an obligation is in the hands of the obligator the obligation has been discharged so a mortgage 
my property i mortgage with you i took loan from you so my property documents title deeds are with you next month they are come back in my possession <laughs> that mean the loan is discharged <laughs> that is how let us see this illustration i ke bare mein as to i g h i a bond is in possession of an obligator but the circumstances the case are that they may have been stolen so it is possible i took a loan from you of 1 lakh by executing a promissory note promissory note you are my friend you are my kali in the court of law i told you that you give me some loan i am in some urgent difficulty i gave you a bond of 10 lakh rupees executing which is stamped and registered and given to you after 6 months or maybe 3 months i not paid the amount you reminded me bola dega or next day it is come in my possession <laughs> uh the if it's come in my possession the law presume that the loan has been discharged but you will take up the plea no i had kept my briefcase in the bar room mr shah has stolen it from my <laughs> bag huh he is a pun is responsible for conducting cc camera tv reveal this so he can dislodge the you can dislodge the presumption in that regard you may take up the plea that the original bond has been stolen by the other side but if you don't prove the st stealing then the court will presume that the original document has come back to me the loan is discharged samajh gaya na aap i you have created a mortgage simple mortgage uh, under the provisions of uh, transfer of property act section 58 permits you uh, to create a mortgage simple mortgage usufructory mortgage or maybe english mortgage a simple mortgage mein title deeds are deposited ab wo title deeds mere kabze mein aa gaye the role is discharged you may say that bank will take up the plea hamare bank se chori karke gaya document hai he has taken the pun into confidence and paid the money that is how the presumption arises so it is both the sides either be udhar bhi okay uh yes we have covered 114 uh, anybody want to ask me any question please presume it then uske ilawa then uh, yeah anybody has any question sir so, yeah sir i have two questions with regard to uh, section 195 mm. crpc uh, yes. so first one, first one is whether uh, under sec under section 195 1b uh, does the word court includes the tribunal as well because as we have seen under section 1 of evidence act the court uh, and uh, obviously the definition of court does not include the tribunal यहाँ पे कोर्ट इंक्लूड्स अनफॉर्चुनेटली इवन ट्राइब्यूनल्स आर इंक्लूडेड एज अ कोर्ट दैट सेक्शन आप चेक करेंगे मिलेगा आपको थ्री फोर्टी के अंदर चेक करेंगे वन नाइनटी फाइव में कोर्ट भी नहीं इवन इन ट्राइब्यूनल्स इवन ट्राइब्यूनल्स पावर ऑफ ए कोर्ट थ्री फोर्टी के अंदर जाएंगे आप वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कोर्ट आपको मिलेगा उसके अंदर या बताइए and the second one is uh, whether uh, when you lead anything before tribunal uh, how come uh, those are, uh, those are known as evidences because uh, evidence act does not apply to specific provision you see for example section 347 crpc when registrar sub registrar are deemed to be civil court aap check kare so when there is a specific provision that specific provision will prevail section 347 check karo crpc ka you got it when a state government so directs a registrar or any sub registrar appointed they shall be deemed to be civil court agar ye section nahi hota to they are not courts they are tribunals <laughs> samjha na but for the purpose of even contempt of court act tribunals are courts ha oh, uska section zara wo oh, deep hai even 195 check karenge yahan pe uske liye the meaning of the court is very wide eh? please see that uh, term court means section 195 sub clause 3 check karo in clause term court means civil revenue criminal court including tribunal mil gaya aapko have you got it yes sir yes sir uh, yes sir got it yes please sir, underline this so whenever there is a special Thank provision you, a special provision override the general provision samjhe so this will override section 1 yes, of the evidence act but here yahan pe this will override now 
और 18 रूल 4 के सीपीसी के अंदर एफिडेविट्स यू कैन टेंडर एज एविडेंस बट एविडेंस एक्ट सेक्शन 1 कहता है कि एफिडेविट्स आर एक्सक्लूडेड बट व्हेन देयर इज अ स्पेसिफिक प्रोविजन सेक्शन 145 ऑफ द निगोशिएबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एक्ट टेल्स यू एफिडेविट एविडेंस कैन बी गिवन पार्लियामेंट और लेजिस्लेचर कैन क्रिएट अ स्पेशल लॉ अ स्पेशल सेक्शन हां योर आंसर इज नाउ क्लियर 195 सब क्लॉज 3 एंड सेक्शन 347 ओके यू गॉट इट यानी अगर कोई डॉट रहेगा तो प्लीज सी ऑलवेज जनरल क्लॉजेस एक्ट इन केस इन या इन दी या या जनरल क्लॉजेस एक्ट एनी बडी हैज एनी मोर क्वेश्चन प्लीज आई गेट हां व्हाट इज द टाइम कुमार सो वी कैन प्रोसीड फॉर द और आधा घंटा यस नाउ ले लीजिए नेक्स्ट अभी सो दिस इज ऑल क्लियर मे प्रेज्यूम अभी शल प्रेज्यूम पे आ जाएंगे हम लोग द सेक्शन 4 में so you understood now so you are learning the uh, the, the <laughs> section 4 is now just not connected to 4 ek 1 line 2 line ga nahi dekhi aap you learned so many things under 114 uh, then i took you through the provision the bankers evidence act negotiable instrument act so these are all to be taken into consideration while understanding the meaning of this word and the crpc ke andar bhi special provisions hain then uh, commercial document evidence act bhi hai wo bhi likh ke rakhiye aap uh, when you are arguing a matter in a, admiralty jurisdiction uh, arbitration matters under the you know various other enactments where the law is concerned ye sab the then we have a identification of prisoners act bhi hai have you heard of this koi padhe aapne ha huh? identification of prisoners act of the year 1920 where the magistrate takes measurements of the accused person and other witnesses samjhe na aap abhi usi mein crpc ke andar pehle to ye section 9 ke andar you are allowed to lead lead evidence with regard to identification of the witnesses i will discuss with it now let us come back to section 4 ke andar shall presume now come back to 4 please Yes. Yeah. Abhi next expression shall presume. See, whenever it is directed by this act, uh, evidence act. Whenever it is directed by this act, that the court shall presume a fact. It shall regard such fact as proved, unless it is disproved. So this is just like may presume. मे प्रज्यूम के अंदर डिस्क्रिप्शन इज गिवन टू द कोर्ट यहां पे डिस्क्रिप्शन लेस लेस डिस्क्रिप्शन द कोर्ट मस्ट एक्सेप्ट इट बट बोथ दिस एविडेंस अदर साइड इज गिवन अ चांस टू फाइल रिबटेबल एविडेंस अनलेस देखिए अनलेस एंड एंटिल इट इज डिस्प्रूव्ड मीन अदर साइड लीड्स अ बेटर एविडेंस so a gentleman is presumed to be dead 7 years ago you lead evidence no he is alive 30 years gentleman has been alive no he is dead family members can lead evidence a criminal prosecution is launched in the in the criminal court you will take up the plea accused dead about 7 years ago <laughs> so the complaint is abated isn't it so the evidence is upon you to say that he debited the bank has to prove the complainant no he is alive that is how it is now the examples of shall presume are please open section 79 onwards 79 80 81 79 mm-hmm. khol lijiye main bolta hu aapko main yes presumptions as to documents ये सब शैल प्रज्यूम के डॉक्यूमेंट है इलास्ट्रेशन है 114 में प्रज्यूम है नो लेट एस सी दी कोर्ट शैल प्रज्यूम टू बी जेन्यून एवरी डॉक्यूमेंट परपटेड टू बी दर्टिफाइड कॉपी और अदर डॉक्यूमेंट विच इज बाय लॉ डिक्लेयर टू बी एडमिसिबल एज एविडेंस बाय एनी पर्टिकुलर फैक्ट एंड विच इज परपटेड टू बी ड्यूली सर्टिफाइड बाय एनी ऑफिसर or a central government or by officer of the state of kashmir who is duly authorized to the central government 
provided that such document is substantially in the form and purports to be executed in the manner directed by law in that behalf the court shall also presume that the officer by whom any such document purported to be assigned certified when signed the officer character which leads to be chapter so section 79 gives a discretion to the court where public documents have been given now certified copies now certified copies normally you produce as evidence secondary evidence please open section 65 63 kholi hai 63 what is secondary evidence and certified copy check lenge aap secondary evidence means and include certified copies given by the provisions here and after contain here and after contain mean this you 63 one to connect to 79 ha ah, aapke certified copy mil gaye aapko the secondary evidence of certified copy of sale deed aapki gum chuki hai you apply to the registrar you please give me a certified copy so if you prove before the court of law you made the application for certified copy you have been given your original was lost the certified copy will be accepted the court shall presume is genuine a voter identity card aapka aadhar card gum chuka hai you make to the authorities an application certified copy is given item 63 1 mein hai then the copies made from the original by mechanism copies so for the purpose of 179 i will only take into consideration 63 one uh, which is certified copy given under the provision you have taken your mark sheet from the government law college certified copy migration certificate up to university se mangaye uh, which is a university under the ugc it's a public authority under the right to information act you sort some information certified copy mil gaya aapko from the municipal corporation you demanded certain plants iod uh, that the neighbor is build constructing illegally some building a uh, builder is doing some illegal act on your land somebody has land you want to study proposal genuine hai ya galat hai sahi hai uh, yes. koi scheme how it is being floated whether necessary permission has been obtained under the municipal corporation act under the development control regulation under the maharashtra regional town planning act certified copy lai hai aap leke ye certified copies will be accepted under section 79 one example okay so this is one example of a shall presume the court shall presume and the document will be taken under record so the if it is a copy original which has been lost primary evidence because section 62 tells you primary evidence mean the original document and 64 tells you document must be proved by primary evidence except in cases i and after mention so two option diye gaye hain primary evidence ko original document laiye otherwise except mean there is a there is a room given to you to lead evidence by secondary evidence certified copies paanch che kism ka evidence hai uske andar so 79 mein attracted ho gaya self presume mein now 80 pe aa jaiye that is with regard to public documents now presumption as to document produced as record of evidence whenever any document is produced before any court purported to be the record or memorandum of evidence of any part of the evidence given by any witness or in judicial proceeding or before any officer authorized by law to take such evidence or to the statement or confession by any prisoner or accused person taken in accordance with law and purported to be signed by a judge magistrate or such officer recorded the court shall presume underline the word shall presume that the document is genuine and the statements to be um, the circumstances under which it will purported to have been made by a person signing it and are true and such evident statements confession are taken under court so i just now gave you an illustration how the confession is to be recorded the police officer does not have power and by virtue of section 25 of the evidence act to record evidence and only the magistrate record judicial magistrate and he will prepare the memorandum that memorandum prepared under 164 by the magistrate i 
so and so the judicial magistrate presiding and so and so court number 123 and so and so area i have been requested by the police officers to record the confession under 164 i summoned him he came over he was brought to me in my chamber or in my court I had taken care to see that at the time nobody was present. He was alone. I advised him not to give the confession. I asked him why he wanted to give confession. I asked him whether he understood the nature of the offence. I requested him. I told him, warn him not to give confession. He will be implicated. He will go to jail. Despite my warning, he said that I want to make it. I asked him whether you have taken any liquor, or any narcotic drugs, or anybody for somebody has promised you anything. has the police officer promise you anything has anybody giving you threats and he told me no then i am convinced that his statements are now likely to be <laughs> voluntary so i therefore proceed to record his statement so in a verbatim language me likhenge so he will prepare a memorandum that memorandum section 60 80 kehta hai ki that the court shall presume to be genuine now aapne padha phir bhi crpc me last time uh evidence recorded by the court no language now when you open a record of the uh, in a warrant case sessions court mein section 27 aapne khole na just open crpc um, in evidence in inquiries and trial that is starting from section 272 onwards uh, how the again memorandum is prepared see section 274 uh, evidence recorded in summons inquiry case in all summon cases the magistrate in all inquiries under 145 to 148 magistrate examine witnesses produces to make a memorandum of substance underline this word of his evidence in language section 247 may you will find this word memorandum is prepared similarly you will find this memorandum is prepared uh, again in 275 all wherever evidence is recorded सो so, ये मेमोरेंडम की वैल्यूएशन क्या है अंडर सेक्शन 80 ऑफ द एविडेंस एक्ट द कोर्ट प्रेज्यूम्स इट इज रिकॉर्डेड बाय अ जुडिशियल ऑफिसर इट शैल बी प्रेज्यूम द कोर्ट शैल प्रेज्यूम इट इज जेन्युइन अनलेस द अक्यूज्ड टेक्स अप द प्ली दैट इट हैज नॉट बीन करेक्टली रिकॉर्डेड आई वाज नॉट प्रेजेंट बिकॉज़ सेक्शन 272 273 मैंडेट्स evidence to be taken in the presence of the accused i was not present at the time i was sleeping at the time i don't know what was recorded according to me the witness did not say so but heavy burden is lying upon him but normally the court will give preference to the judicial officers because judicial officers are unbiased officers supposed to be and they record correctly so more weightage is given to their to their um findings to their memorandum to the documents prepared unless the accused shows the officer was highly biased against me ha huh? he had a geographical bias with me personal bias against me he knew the other side they were related to each other ha huh? or if he makes a allegation of bribery against him these are all things which in evidence can be considered by the court of law that is called leading evidence in rebuttal which is a very difficult chance to prove ओके okay. 80 हो गया अभी समझ में आ गया ना आपको आ, 81 में आ जाइए सिमिलरली 81 में आ जाइए सेक्शन 81 वन या प्रिजम्शन एज टू गैजेट इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फॉर्म सॉरी सॉरी प्रिजम्शन एज टू गैजेट न्यूज पेपर प्राइवेट एक्ट ऑफ पार्लियामेंट मीन द कोर्ट शेल प्रेज्यूम द जेन्यस ऑफ एवरी डॉक्यूमेंट परपटेड टू बी लंडन गैजेट Uh, of the official gazette hmm, or any colony dependency possession of the british crown newspaper refer copyright private act parliament so you can substitute this all this parliament of england to indian parliament because at the time when this act was written 1872 uh, it was written by a british gentleman huh? <laughs> isn't it the crown was in picture that time now we have our own parliament we have our own legislature see the laws made they are all court presumes that here the gazettes which have been prepared yeah, the government gazette central government ka bhi gazette hota hai state government ke bhi gazette hote every act every bill is gazetted you know that na so they are, the court presumes that they are public documents and they are kept in a regular course of business and 
the court presumes that they are correct. Okay. Uh, news 81A pe aja hai, presumption as to gazette in electronic form after the advent of uh, Information Technology Act, the court shall presume that the genuineness of every electronic record purported to be the official gazette purported to be the electronic record directed hmm, directed by the any law to be kept in by any person if such electronic record is kept substantially in the form required by law and protection of a proper custody. So the the Information Technology Act tells you there are information officers. They are required to maintain the uh, the privacy of the conversation and signatures and many people have opted their digital signatures and uh, they give certificates under the act. Similarly, under Section 65 of the Evidence Act, when uh, secondary when, when you produce the um, when you produce the electronic form of evidence without giving a certificate by the officers, they are not proved. So a certificate given by the officer uh, uh, is presumed to be are uh, presumed to be correct uh, under section 65 may check karenge a and a is a primary evidence section 65 b deals with the secondary evidence of the electronic record uh, which are uh, presumed to be uh, correct um, and uh, in that regard and in that regard a certificate is given um, so such this matter this they yeah. are so their certificates have evidentiary value in the eyes of law under 85 a 81 a then see the yet another example of uh, shall presume is presumption as a document admissible in England without proof of seal and signature. Now, here England or uh, England or Scotland ke documents hai, or pe our Indian document documents which have been executed admissible in India. In India, you may take up the plea that of course, even uh, the documents are given character uh, where stamps, seals, hmm? of legislature, judicial officers uh, of all the courts, Supreme Court, High Court, civil judges, magistrates, all the seals, uh, the court presumes that they are correct unless a plea is taken. They have been fabricated. Uh, the defendant with the help of the carcoon has uh, taken such a, a false seal, certified copy has been taken fraudulently unless it is proved by the other side. In one such one of the matters I'm appearing, unfortunately, uh, is that here the allegation is that here when the central excise authorities are given a claim of four crores to be paid by one of the SSC, the gentleman engaged an advocate, I will not take his name uh, outside Mumbai, some other different state, and he produced the certificate of the High Court showing stay order <laughs> that the order has been stayed, which ultimately proved to be bogus. <laughs> Uh, he is an advocate. We, unfortunately, I won't take his name. I am representing some of the company's director in the matter before the criminal court. So naturally, prosecution has been launched under 192 of the entry 40 CRPC. Yes, sir, sir. Uh, yeah? sir it's 655 already. Mm. Uh, we should wrap up the lecture. So you want to go away? Sir, you have another lecture at 7. That's why I'm reminding you. Oh, I don't have lecture today. I'll finish this. Okay. Okay. Oh, I will finish this, we shall presume, then uh, ka hmm? Today I have not kept other lecture. Friday only your lecture. Okay? Uh, eight, yeah. Then uh, you see, then you read for yourself 83 presumption as to maps uh, of the authority of government of India. All maps, the court can presume to be genuine. 84 can the presumption of collection of laws, reported decision, the Supreme Court and High Court ke judgments. Uh, which are reported in the law books, the court may presume that they are correct. The court shall presume rather they are correct, isn't it? Um, a power of attorney which has been executed by you, by the magistrate, judicial officer, the Indian consulate office, America, mein, London, mein, or even the public, notary public are genuine. The court presume unless you take up the plea, notary either I any sign ho hai ni, bogus hai. A declaration sort is illegal. So those uh, those who want to get a power of attorney from your sibling, your friends, America, London, Dubai, and that power of attorney required to be sent for uh, identification to the um, council general ambassadors of the country. Please note that. So they sign it. If you are in cities like Bombay, Calcutta, Madras, uh, they are required to be sent to gone to the magistrates, judicial magistrate. If they are not available or in cities, 
you can also go to the notaries under the notaries so under section 85 the, all these uh, certificates given the uh, the authentication done by notary public officer magistrate judges and councils are valid then 85a talks of uh, presumption as to document electronic record uh, where the electronic officers giving the where uh, you know court shall presume electronic record permitted to be an agreement containing electronic signature uh, concluding so electronic signature you can apply for under the information uh, technology act uh, you can pay certain money officers is giving you bank accepts it so it comes under the seal of the officers so these are genuine then 85b me presumptions as to 85 is a record and electronic signatures ho gaya ho then 85c again electronic signature and certificates court shall presume the other documents other than the signatures any other document maybe you may seek that here uh, election ke time ke andar gafla hua you are taken photograph uh, you are taken videograph you have transmitted to by a, to to various authorities various person in your email gmail or your whatsapp <laughs> the authority is giving a certificate yes this is a genuine one taken from so and so mobile that certificate is valid you have to prove it 65 b of the evidence act read with clause 4 it is a genuine if you place it before the court of law and the court presume that this is a genuine document then 87 ke andar check a presumption as to books and maps and chart the court may presume ye may pe aa gaya 87 not shall ke upar uh, then uh, यहाँ तक शैल प्रज्यूम हो गए डॉक्यूमेंट देन अनादर शैल प्रज्यूम का आपको डॉक्यूमेंट मिलेगा सेक्शन या सेक्शन सी पी सी खोल लेंगे आप कोड ऑफ सिविल प्रोसीजर में फॉरन जजमेंट द कोर्ट शैल प्रज्यूम टू बी करेक्ट सी पी सी के अंदर भी है ना पढ़े ना आपने सी पी सी सेक्शन फोर्टीन वॉट इज सेक्शन 13 and 14 check kare aap 14 presumption as to foreign judgments the court shall presume upon the protection of a document ha huh? shall presume ho gaya then under the negotiable instrument act padhe aapne 118 ke andar the court shall presume that your so and so document is correct okay this is shall presume and uh, Conclusive proof. I'm log next lecture will get Monday. Ke andar. That's a topic I will deal with. If you want to understand what is a conclusive proof, uh, please also read uh, section 41. Padh kya hai ab? Section 41, uh, 122, 123. Uh, relevancy of certain judgments of probate jurisdiction which are conclusive. There are only three sections in the Evidence Act. Please tell you what is a conclusive evidence. Section forty-one, section one twenty-two. That is birth during marriage, conclusive, and proof of cessation of territory, one hundred and thirteen. This I will deal with on Monday. Anybody has any question for today? Please do ask me. And some judgments I have circulated. You may go through, and more judgments I will send you. Go through if you want to discuss the judgment. We don't have time to discuss much in the. One hour lecture because other otherwise formally you should take two hour lectures. Us me discussion possible tha. Only I can give you briefly. All those of you interested, please go through and discuss with me, and discuss next time. Anybody has any question? Do ask me. Do let me know. Bata dijiye and otherwise we'll meet Monday. So I'm giving you for five minutes more for question answers. Any questions? Please quickly wrap it up. So I take it, Kumar, that there is no question. Yes, sir. yes, yes. Yes. Shall we then? Good night. All of you have a nice good. time and nice Thank weekend. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Good night, sir.